Ricardo uh, pushes Russell out of the top ten. Yellow Someone's had Sainz. a moment. Carlos, Carlos Sainz, Sainz at Rivazza two, oh, he's and wall. he's in the wall. And you can see the Ferrari stuck there and has gone quite hard into the wall. That is a red flag. And if the rain is coming, that is bad news for anybody outside of the top ten. Oh, he's just lost the rear, hasn't he? I mean, he's not done anything massively wrong, but just wasn't necessary when he was in the position he was. He's going to definitely not sleep well tonight. As Lando Norris has a moment at Aqua Minerale, Verstappen is hoping he can hold on to pole, and that is going to be another red flag. It looks to me like Norris has stopped. Uh, I'm out. And has gone in a lot harder into the barriers, and that is a red flag, and that is the end of qualifying. It won't resume now, and they know the job's done, and the driver, the reigning champion in the rain here at Imola, knows the job is done. Got that white line again. I don't think barriers. he's damaged the wing though, I think he probably got away with that, but they're all on that white line again. He was on the green line. That secured his third place though. Definitely. One way of doing it. Out. It's one way of doing it. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. And already a yellow flag as someone's gone off the track, and I think it's Joe Guan Yu in the Alfa Romeo. And there is Joe Guan Yu. Looks like his sprint is over by the end of the first lap. Oh, it's hard on the wall. You can see the exhaust. Yeah, that rear wing is very much at an angle that they would not want. Safety car has been brought out, the Aston Martin safety car. We can see... Let's have a look on the way to Inter Piratella we go. And there's Joe Guanyu on the outside, Gasly on the inside. I didn't think this track was narrow and that rather proved yeah, it. Two came together, I'm not really sure where Zhu thought Gasly could go. Didn't quite leave him enough space. I would say a bit of a racing incident. <laughs> Verstappen leads into the first corner ahead of Perez on the inside. Lando Norris gets third place ahead of Charles Leclerc. Bad start from him. Daniel Ricciardo hits uh, Carlos Sainz and Ferrari has spun round and Ricciardo manages to keep going. And oh no, Carlos Sainz for the second race in a row, second Grand Prix in a row. Looks like his afternoon has been ending way earlier than he would have wanted. Sainz going the long way around. Where's Ricciardo going to be able to go? Yeah, yeah. Daniel, hit me. The stewards have noted this, not necessarily investigating, but with Sainz being ahead into the apex... Yeah, I got pushed into Sainz. I'm going to say racing incident, Crofty. I don't think there was anything intentional on it. Yes, you could give him a small penalty for it, but it wasn't like he went in completely out of control. They were both racing side by side. We did say that Sonoda uh, has the pace to chase down that Aston Martin. Uh, gaps behind them, well, still hold. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And Charles Leclerc oh, goes into the barrier at the very anti Alta. Now he's kept the car going, he's kept everything running. Oh, One Ferrari broken. already out, and another Ferrari potentially out because I think he's got damage to his front wing. Any feedback on the car? He's in. It's okay. Copy. That's an old radio message then, because it's not OK, because he is coming in. Crofty, look how much he goes to the right-hand side, beaches it on this big sausage curb. Why is he trying to do that? Because he wants to get the DRS down at Rivazza, but you can see the car would not handle it, bounced, couldn't correct it, and then obviously onto the second part. He's very lucky that he managed to get that car out the wall, but he is going to be one unhappy boy when he leaves this track. <laughs> I just want to hear first, firsthand what you, uh, your anal analytic abilities, because I'm learning everything oh, from you. Oh dear, oh. Mario. I'll tell you what my analytic abilities are here, Mario. Carlos Sainz was that. taking way too much speed I see into that. that corner, and we've well, got a red flag. So oh, turn around and no. have a look at this. Oh that no, poor Carlos. That's not good, is it? Uh, He's at a. Dick. That's not from lack of trying, however. So the the problem is he's. Yeah, sorry guys. I don't know what happened. Uh, and, you know, obviously these corners are quite quick, so you would probably need a little more space than that to, if you do run off. But, uh, again, I don't think that's a tremendous amount of damage to the car. You know, it's uh, left front and whatever, so... Yeah. yeah. If you go off there, you're going to get a bit of the wall. Esteban Ocon uh, into the wall there at uh, 14. This is the... Tricky bit, isn't same it? As same yeah. as Carlos. Same as Carlos. 
So we'll wait for a replay and just see what happened. But uh, that's a big shunt for him. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very difficult because he lost it really early. If you see when he went left, he was already spinning. Yesterday, interesting enough, I was doing the priority laps and you could do exactly what he did. But yeah, I mean, I'm not qualifying or driving an F1 car at the moment, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Carlos Sainz, who uh, is another having a, a pretty lonely race. The place and oh dear, Lando Norris has made contact with the Alpha Tauri. Uh, Pierre Gasly, Sebastian Vettel slows down to avoid any further issues. And you know how things can change in a street race. Very, very quickly, we have a virtual safety car. Uh, so Gasly had gone wide through there, then wide again. In fact, he has backed off, hasn't he? And somehow he's not realised that Lando's coming through. And the tyre comes off like a polo mint. Luckily, he stays within the confines of the racetrack. Safety car deployed. The, uh... They have to. Yep. Uh, I'm out, boys. Yes, mate. Sorry about that. I didn't want to... Here's Sebastian Vettel. Why did he spin? Well, he was uh, going for the move there. On the, on the house of Mick Schumacher. Schumacher came back at him down the inside, and that is why Sebastian Vettel spun and Mick Schumacher hitting him. Which gap was that? I didn't see that. And that's it, I guess. You can't be mates as Formula One drivers, you just can't. I mean, that's clearly by corner. That is Daniel Ricciardo, and he's gone into the Tech Pro barrier. You can see the front wing has A become dislodged and B ended up quite away from his car. Yeah, is the car OK? Uh, I'm OK. Uh, Good. Let's have a little look at how it unfolded. So round to back. Oh, he picked up a bit of understeer in uh, turn 13. Oh, he lost the rear front. And then, yeah, but it put him offline. And then in the change of direction, the rear let go. Look. So, yeah. The... I'm glad you're OK. We'll fix the car, don't panic. Yeah, understood. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll explain when I get back. Nasty moment. Absolutely. Just getting the car hitting the ground so hard, it basically lifts your wheels off the air, into the air momentarily. Again, takes the pavement into Portier now. And uh, was that Red Bull that, sliding side? That was Perez, and Perez has stopped at Portier, and I think Perez has got into the barriers, and Carlos Sainz on the scene as well has made contact, and that is the end of qualifying. And last year, it was Charles Leclerc who hit the barriers and managed to grab pole. I'm out there, sorry. This year, it's Sergio Perez who's hit the barriers, and Charles Leclerc has grabbed pole. I dare say he would have grabbed pole anyway, because, well, in the week that he announced he was becoming a Disney character, he has been light years ahead of the rest in this final part of qualifying. But that is a little bit of wreckage at Portier. Perez disappears through Mirabeau, and as I say, lost the rear, sliding around that right-hander. And there's Sainz doing exactly the same thing. So we just saw it, didn't we, in the corner of our eye, yeah. the, the, the Red Bull at a funny angle as the, we had the shot cut and uh, uh, one of those pendulum spins and wait for it. Here's another uh, one. Uh, let's have a look at Fernando Alonso's crash as well, but towards the end there, he also put it into the wall. Yeah, just too hot. I uh, should have chosen the escape road that Nico um, went down on the left-hand side, but... Um... <laughs> That is Nicholas Latifi down at the Lowe's hairpin. Gate on, the car just didn't turn. I just crashed into the hairpin. And hitting the barriers as well, Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin through Massenet. Oh, that is the Haas of Mick Schumacher at the entrance to the swimming pool chicane. That, that is a very costly accident. Um, not just for Mick Schumacher in this race, but also for Haas in terms of, uh, of budgets. Oh, it let go, hit the Armco, spun around a couple of times and then into the Tech Pro barrier. And now there's a red flag right. to repair the barrier, it must be probably. Yeah, there is. Anything else. Yeah, he'd lost quite a lot of speed by the time he got there, fortunately, but it's just plucked the, plucked the uh, gearbox off, hasn't it? And then the rear suspension there at the back. So, um, the tech pro and everything doing its job.